While the world is still stuck in its old obsession with lithium, something much bigger, quieter, and more explosive is being shaped within Tesla's walls. The company finally unveiled its new aluminum ion battery for 2026, and initial tests not only confirmed the expected performance, but also surpassed optimistic projections. It's a paradigm shift. It's not just a matter of replacing one material with another. It's like swapping a horse-drawn carriage for a spaceship. The speed at which aluminum ions traverse the cell's structure is 23 times greater than that of lithium ions, thanks to a novel architecture dubbed quantum tunneling. That alone would be a huge leap. But it goes further. This quantum tunnel-based structure isn't just fast. It's smart. Each battery cell contains nanostructured graphene channels that self-repair during charge cycles. While traditional lithium batteries degrade with each use, Tesla's batteries become more efficient over time. It's as if they learn and grow stronger with the effort. After 100,000 cycles, tests indicate that the battery performs 13% better than when it was new. This completely changes market logic. The idea that, over time, you'd inevitably have to replace your car's battery is over. Here, it improves all by itself. This continuous improvement directly threatens business models based on planned obsolescence, something that has become the norm in the automotive industry. Manufacturers rely on battery wear to profit from scheduled replacements and expensive maintenance. But now, this strategy is at risk. If Tesla's battery lasts longer, regenerates, and even performs better over time, companies that bet otherwise need to rethink everything. This explains the tension that has begun to circulate among the industry giants, especially in Asia. The gears of monopoly have begun to creak, and China felt the blow. In less than 90 days, more than 47,000 attempted cyber attacks were launched by agents linked to the Chinese government against Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. The information comes from leaked U.S. intelligence reports. The objective? steal the manufacturing secrets for the new aluminum ion battery. It's no coincidence, it's desperation. The $340 billion monopoly China built around lithium is crumbling, and fast. What was once seen as a strategic advantage has become a vulnerability. The greatest weapon isn't aluminum's abundance, but rather its complete escape from the established game. China built its power on scarcity. Lithium, cobalt, and manganese, all difficult to extract and refine materials with complex supply chains. Aluminum, on the other hand, is abundant, cheap, and globally distributed. And with this new architecture created by Tesla, it became viable for something that was previously exclusive to lithium. In other words, Tesla didn't just circumvent the problem, it cleared the entire board. The technology also changes how we view performance, capable of discharging all its energy in just 47 seconds. This battery redefines the concept of instantaneous power. This opens up possibilities for applications not only in electric cars, but also in heavy-duty transportation, electric aircraft, and even military systems. Extreme performance, combined with gradual increases in efficiency over its lifetime, creates a scenario where Tesla isn't just leading a race, it's running alone. Internally, Tesla engineers describe the new cell as a living organism. It adapts, adjusts, and responds to driver input. Microscopic sensors scattered throughout the cell monitor temperature, pressure, and electrical flow in real time, adjusting the graphene channels according to operating stress. This system isn't just sophisticated, it's almost biological, and this completely changes what we expect from a car battery. It's no longer a passive block that stores charge, but an intelligent system that interacts with the car and the driver. All of this explains why the battery's launch was treated with such secrecy. There was no grand announcement or advertising campaign, just quiet testing, internal technical reports, and extreme protective measures. Tesla knew what it had in its hands was sensitive, strategic, and explosive in both the economic and geopolitical sense. After all, 
It's not every day that something capable of destabilizing the largest energy empire of the 21st century is created without firing a shot. Now that details have begun to leak, the world finally understands why China is so concerned. As costs began to emerge, the industry realized China's concerns were well-founded. Producing an aluminum ion battery costs about 30% less than a lithium ion battery made in China. This isn't a symbolic reduction. It's a punch in the gut for a market that has always relied on cheap labor, government subsidies, and supply chain dominance. Tesla's secret lies precisely in not reinventing the wheel. It is leveraging existing infrastructure in the United States to process aluminum, which eliminates the high cost and time required for new mining or refining routes. States like Tennessee, Texas, and Kentucky have active, well-structured refineries with the capacity to process over 1.1 million tons of aluminum per year. Tesla has partnered with companies like Alcoa Corporation to secure raw materials and access to production capacity without having to build anything from scratch. This gives the company a significant logistical advantage. While other manufacturers are still battling for environmental permits to extract lithium, Tesla is simply connecting its new processes to factories already operating at full capacity. This move drastically reduces time to market. Instead of the traditional three years to establish a lithium battery production chain, Tesla can adapt existing lines in less than eight months. With this, the Nevada Gigafactory projects an annual production of two, one terawatt hours of storage capacity by the third quarter of 2026. This is equivalent to enough energy to power more than six million vehicles per year all produced on American soil. It's an unprecedented industrial leap in the sector. The side effect is devastating for Chinese manufacturers. In 2024 alone, China earned over $43 billion from battery exports, making this segment the third largest among the country's manufactured products. If Tesla manages to deliver a cheaper, more efficient, and less environmentally impactful product, Asian competitors face a cruel dilemma. Reduce prices even further, eliminating profit margins, or watch their market share melt away before their eyes. Neither option is sustainable in the long term. The situation worsens when one considers the contracts Tesla has already secured. Companies like Norsk Hydro and Century Aluminum have committed to exclusive supply agreements through 2032 with fixed prices and volume guarantees. This means that, even in times of market fluctuations or geopolitical tensions, Tesla will have stable access to the materials it needs to scale its production. Meanwhile, its Chinese competitors, which depend on volatile markets and sensitive trade routes, are at the mercy of global chaos. This stability gives Tesla a unique long-term planning capability. It can forecast costs organize production, and ensure deliveries without surprises. In the automotive market, where a single screw delay can halt an entire production line, this is gold. Predictability reduces investor risk, improves consumer confidence, and positions Tesla not only technologically, but also logistically and financially. It's like playing chess with all the opponent's pieces already locked. There's also a psychological factor at play. For the first time in decades, the United States is poised to regain control of a key technology in the energy transition. And this isn't being done with political rhetoric or protectionist measures, but with real engineering, cutting-edge innovation, and a smart industrial strategy. For many analysts, this is the first concrete sign that the era of Asian dominance in green technologies may be coming to an end. And this changes the entire geopolitical balance of energy. By transforming an outdated infrastructure into an engine of innovation, Tesla revives the spirit of doing more with less that characterized the great industrial leaps in American history. It's a replicable, scalable, and above all, sustainable model. If China dominated the sector through its control of raw materials and scale, it now finds itself facing an enemy that has turned the tables without needing the same weapons. And the most dangerous part of all? 
Tesla hasn't even begun to explore the full potential of this new technology. While technological and economic superiority already demonstrated the strength of the aluminum ion battery, it was in the cold that it demonstrated its true unbeatability. The performance of electric vehicles in extreme temperatures has always been an Achilles' heel, especially for Chinese manufacturers. In temperatures below, quad 10 degree, lithium batteries lose up to 40% of their capacity, turning expensive cars into veritable blocks of ice on wheels. Tesla knew it wasn't enough to create a cheaper battery. It had to work well anywhere on the planet, even in the most brutal winters. And that's exactly what the tests showed. In extreme cold conditions, Tesla's new battery retained 96% of its original capacity at 30 degrees C. For comparison, the best Chinese systems don't exceed 60% retention in these same scenarios. In Minnesota, one of Tesla's test centers, engineers subjected the batteries to 72 continuous hours at 40 by spiders. In the end, the performance loss was only 2%. This isn't just a technical victory. It's a game changer. The battery simply ignores the cold. In practice, this translates into a much more reliable user experience. A Tesla Model 2 equipped with this technology achieves up to 387 miles of range, even at 20 degrees degrees six. Meanwhile, benchmark Chinese models struggle to maintain 180 miles under the same conditions. This difference completely changes consumer behavior. It's no longer necessary to avoid trips on freezing days, nor to rely on preheating systems that drain energy before even leaving the garage. Confidence returns behind the wheel. What's even more impressive is that this performance doesn't require complex auxiliary systems. While competitors try to circumvent the problem with heaters, additional sensors, and climate-adapting software, the aluminum ion battery simply works. It doesn't compensate. It doesn't adapt. It endures. This reduces costs, eliminates single points of failure, and simplifies vehicle design. Less weight, fewer components, less chance of something going wrong in the middle of a blizzard. The impact on cold markets is immediate. Regions like Canada, Scandinavia, the Northern United States, and even inland China have always presented barriers to mass EV adoption due to climate. Now, with this new technology, these markets become fully viable. A segment that once represented almost half of the global auto market is now fully within Tesla's reach, while competitors still struggle to survive in mild climates. Tesla is no longer competing. It's colonizing uncharted territory. This progress was confirmed by those who understand the cold best, the Norwegians. In silent tests conducted by Tesla with real users during the last Arctic winter, the satisfaction rate reached 94%. For comparison, the same people reported only 31% satisfaction with vehicles equipped with Chinese lithium batteries. The contrast is stark. When the real world enters the equation, the numbers speak louder than any propaganda. And in this case, the numbers are crushing the competition. And the charging time? It's still fast, even when the thermometer drops below freezing. While traditional systems require battery preheating and long waits of over an hour, Tesla's battery charges in four minutes, even at 35 degrees C. This changes everything. Instead of relying on dedicated infrastructure, users can rely on fast charging in any conditions. This is no longer a cold adapted vehicle. It's a car that ignores the cold as if it didn't even exist. When the tests began circulating among engineers and industry experts, many were skeptical. It was hard to believe that a battery could promise so much and still deliver. But that's exactly what happened. Tesla subjected more than 2,800 vehicles equipped with the aluminum ion battery to one of the most rigorous validation programs ever undertaken. For months, these cars drove across 47 U.S. states, accumulating an impressive 18.3 million miles in real-world conditions. These weren't laboratory simulations, but real-life situations with traffic, adverse weather, 
varied terrain, and continuous use. The results were submitted for peer review and published in Journal of Power Sources, one of the most respected magazines in energy engineering. This dispelled any suspicion of Tesla bias, and the data speaks volumes. After 500,000 simulated miles of continuous use, the battery maintained 94.7% of its original capacity. Meanwhile, the Chinese models compared in the same test, from manufacturers like KTL, BYD, and others, dropped to 73.2%. The difference is so large that it changes the cost-benefit equation of any electric vehicle. Translated into everyday life, a car with an aluminum-ion battery can maintain efficient range for about 15 years before needing replacement. Meanwhile, traditional models require battery replacement after eight or nine years of use. This directly impacts the total cost of ownership and the perceived durability. Consumers, who were previously hesitant to invest heavily in EVs for fear of the battery losing power over time, now have a product that ages better than many combustion engines. But it's not just the longevity that's impressive, it's the safety too. During more than 10,000 cycles of destructive tests, including punctures, overcharging, and exposure to extreme heat, Tesla's battery showed no cases of overheating or explosion. Zero. Not a single one. Meanwhile, Chinese batteries recorded thermal runaway incidents in 3.7% of the same tests. This is precisely the type of failure that causes fires and has haunted manufacturers, users, and insurers for years. And speaking of insurance, insurers have already started to react. Some companies in the U.S. are offering up to 23% discounts on policies for vehicles equipped with the new battery. The justification is simple. The risk of fire is virtually zero, and the durability reduces maintenance and replacement costs. This may seem like a small detail, but it represents a real gain for consumers. Furthermore, it reinforces the perception that this technology is not only innovative, but also reliable. Credibility was further boosted when the Pentagon stepped in. The U.S. Department of Defense selected Tesla's aluminum-ion battery to power the next generation of military vehicles. This came after a series of evaluations comparing alternatives from Chinese, Korean, and European manufacturers. When the U.S. military entrusts its logistics and security to a new technology, it's because it has undergone tests that few civilian products even imagine. The military's choice is both symbolic and strategic. It shows that Tesla isn't just creating a battery for cars, it's setting a new standard for high-demand applications. It's as if the company is telling the world, if this works for the military, it works for you, too. And most interestingly, this validation didn't come from loud announcements, but from technical reports, solid data, and relentless testing. No marketing, just engineering. If there was one challenge that kept engineers awake at night, it was the risk of fire in electric vehicles. The problem stemmed primarily from the thermal instability of lithium batteries. All it took was an overload, a puncture or overheating, and the system would collapse, triggering the infamous thermal runaway, a chain reaction nearly impossible to contain. Tesla's new battery not only overcomes this obstacle, but also redefines the entire architecture of electric vehicles. The aluminum ion chemistry simply won't ignite, regardless of external conditions. This immediately eliminates the need for complex liquid cooling systems.